Here are your next steps of being a Rocket Pool node validator. Setting up your hardware. Rocket Pool has a user's guide on their site, Rocket Pool Staking Protocol Part 1. It gives an overview of the protocol and Oracle node, tokenomics, and launch details. Docs.rocketpool.net has a node operator's responsibility and user guide that you can use to follow. It does give you configuration of your Rocket Pool and the hardware. You can look over node requirements in choosing a platform, preparing your local node, and everything you need to get started. Let's get started. For those who are new to the concept, let me explain the DAP node. DAP node is a software package and hardware device that allows users to run and maintain their own blockchain nodes. The DAP node facilitates running decentralized applications on blockchain networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum. It offers a seamless way for users to operate their own nodes, making the setup and the management process more accessible, even for non-tech savvy or non-traditional users like myself. DAP node can be a physical hardware device like what I have here today, the Hopper DAP node, or a software package that can be installed on existing hardware. As with any node, it comes with its own set of benefits and limitations. Let's explore both from the research I obtained. What are the pros and cons? Well, the benefits, as you can see here, is all the hardware is pre-installed and fits in this small box. Everything you need is already taken care of and ready to install. You have direct access to the blockchain network while contributing to the Ethereum security of the network. DAP node is open source, which means the code is freely available to the public. This creates transparency and community collaboration. When you think about drawbacks, there are a few. There can still be some complexity and technology knowledge of understanding blockchain networks. It can also require some investment in purchasing the hardware which could be a barrier for entry. Updates and maintenance are still required to maintain security and function, and users must be proactive. The DAP node may not support all blockchain networks, and it does require internet and users that have limited bandwidth and storage space may find challenges. User support can also be limited to community-driven and open source support. Here is everything in the box. The USB for emergencies, the model and safety information, the hopper DAP node, metal plate, AC power adapter, and ethernet cable. Checking under the hood is not necessary because everything is pre-installed. There's also more room for an SSD if needed. Plug in your device to the power supply and connect the ethernet cable. Log into DAPnode Wi-Fi with the password DAPnode as a new user. Consider setting up a VPN in the future so you can access your DAPnode on the go. Go to the DAP node website and under Docs, you will find the directions on how to access your DAP node. If you are not using a VPN and a local network proxy, you are limited to the admin UI dashboard at dapnode.local and some features access will be limited. When you get to the terminal, default credentials for SSH access will be username dapnode and password dapnode.so. You will also be given a token recovery. This is very important that you write it down and do not lose it or share it with anyone. This is your recovery code if you forget your password. 
change your username and password right away and use a strong password and write it down. Congratulations, you are now logged in to the dashboard.